RC Addicts, what's going on? All right, so we got the Legendary Thunder on deck. So last time I had it out, you guys saw me ripping and roaring in the backyard on 3S. And then I broke it off camera. Usually when I get done filming, I drive, keep filming for B-roll or some extra footage or just to kill the drain the battery, have some fun, what have you, bash. And I broke it. And let me and where I broke it is seems to be a point of weakness, not just um, what I've experienced, but others out there. And that's the uh, suspension holder, the front suspension holder. If you can see it here, I've replaced it with this, uh, with the upgraded metal part, the blue. And what happens is, if you should hit it in such a way, this is the front. This is the part that was in the front. See how it's blown away there on that side? And it's not on, on this side. So, and mind you, it's no fault of the truck. It's very durable. It took way more hit, way more harder impacts and hits than that. What happened was I was driving and I got distracted. I turned my head for a couple of seconds. And those two seconds that I turned my head, the car was turning right. And if you've seen those uh, railroad ties that I have in my backyard, it turned right into that boom and hit this at almost three quarter throttle. So that right there blew out the front and bent the pin. The pin I just hammered back straight and put it back in there. And I, I regret not making a video on how to do this. This is very, very, very simple. All you got to do is uh, undo your chassis brace. These screws here, remove your bumper, the lower screws here, and uh, you pull off the front hub assembly where your, um, I can't think, where your diff is and everything, all that comes up. Then all you got to do is pull the bolts out for these and put the new ones back in. It's really, really simple. And that being said, I'll probably do it for the rear. And if I do decide to buy the ones for the rear, I'll make a video on it if you guys want to see. Uh, let me know. Uh, also, a plus for this legendary uh, Thunder truck is this instruction manual that it comes with. Very, very, very detailed. It shows you blown up diagrams of everything see there's a that front section the front assembly and it tells you where the screws go how to pull it apart and everything like that and the part numbers it points to not only does it give you that it gives you the replacement parts list okay these are all the replacement parts for it starting with the screws and those, those things here, replacement parts, replacement parts, replacement parts. Now, what I like to do is as if something breaks, I don't replace. I upgrade if they have the upgrade for it. So here, you can see I needed the front suspension holders, the part number, Okay, it gives you the picture, the part number, and tells you what it is, how many you get. And so here's the rear. All right, and they have upgraded all sorts of stuff. So I might go piece by piece. I may not get everything uh, to, to upgrade this, but... The essentials just the essentials 
I get that heat sink. I get the rear hub holders, the rear um, suspension holders, upgrade the, the shocks. And I'll do it with all the legendary parts. If you want to see that, let me know. And uh, yeah, so this very, very helpful. Legendary, all uh, great budget truck, great budget basher. I'm not being paid by anybody for this. It's, this is just my experience. This channel has no sponsor. So um, props to Legendary. They're comprehensive uh, instruction manual, detailed uh, parts list, diagrams, and all that. So yeah, I think I'll go ahead and upgrade the rears. When that when I do order those, I'll drop that video and show you how to go ahead and uh, swap those out too. So I might as well do that before it breaks. And maybe I'll just go through and get little bits and pieces here and there. All right. That being said, um, I think that's it. It's your local local RC addict uh, telling you to get out and drive an RC. I'll catch you next time. God bless and peace.